Welcome to an example on how to solve a linear equation in one variable with variables on both sides and parentheses. It's important to remember as we go through the solution process, whatever operation we perform on one side of the equation, we must also perform on the other so the result is an equivalent equation. The first step in solving this equation is to simplify both sides of the equation, which means we clear the parentheses and combine like terms. So looking at the left side of the equation, let's first write negative w as negative 1w. And we need to be careful here, we have minus 2 times the quantity w plus 4. Because of the subtraction, we distribute negative 2, because remember, minus 2 is equivalent to plus negative 2. So we could write this as plus negative 2 times this quantity, but let's leave it in this form. Just remember, we distribute negative 2. So negative 2 times w is negative 2w. Again, we could write plus negative 2w, but let's just write minus 2w, which is equivalent. And then negative 2 times 4 is negative 8. Instead of writing plus negative 8, let's write minus 8. Equals on the right side, let's write 6w minus 5 minus 1w. And now we need to combine like terms on both sides of the equation. On the left side, negative 1w minus 2w is negative 3w. The left side simplifies to negative 3w minus 8 equals on the right side. 6w minus 1w is 5w. The right side simplifies to 5w minus 5. This equation is equivalent to the original equation, but now both sides are simplified. Remember our goal is to solve for w, which means we need to isolate w on one side of the equation. Notice right now we have w terms on both sides of the equation. Which takes us to the next step, where we add or subtract to isolate the variable term on one side of the equation. Let's isolate the variable term on the left side of the equation. So looking at the right side, we need to undo this positive 5w by adding or subtracting, which means for the next step, we subtract 5w on both sides of the equation. And now we simplify. Negative 3w minus 5w is negative 8w. The left side is now negative 8w minus 8. On the right side, 5w minus 5w is 0, which is why we subtracted 5w on both sides. The right side simplifies to negative 5. Once again, this equation is equivalent to the given equation, but now the variable term is on one side of the equation. But we still have not isolated the variable term yet because we have negative 8w minus 8 on the left. We need to isolate negative 8w by undoing minus 8, which means the next step is to add 8 to both sides of the equation. And now we simplify. We have negative 8w, then negative 8 plus 8 is 0, which again is the reason why we added 8 to both sides of the equation. Negative 8w equals negative 5 plus 8 is positive 3. Now that we've isolated the variable term on one side of the equation, we now multiply or divide to isolate the variable and solve the equation. And because negative 8w means negative 8 times w, to undo the multiplication and solve for w, we divide both sides by negative 8. Simplifying, negative 8 divided by negative 8 simplifies to 1. 1 times w is w. We have w equals 3 divided by negative 8 is equivalent to negative 3 eighths. So the equation w equals negative 3 eighths is equivalent to the original equation, but now because it's solved for w, this also gives us the solution, which means if we substitute negative 3 eighths for w back into the original equation, it must satisfy the equation, which means after performing substitution, the expression on the left must equal the expression on the right. And let's verify this before we go. So for our check, we will now substitute negative 3 eighths for w, which gives us negative and then negative 3 eighths, or the opposite of negative 3 eighths, minus 2 times the quantity negative 3 eighths plus 4 equals 6 times negative 3 eighths minus 5 minus negative 3 eighths. Let's evaluate both sides of this equation using a calculator. Let's first enter the expression on the left. We have negative or the opposite of negative 3 eighths minus 2 
times the quantity negative 3 eighths plus 4. Enter. Let's also convert this to a fraction by pressing math, enter, enter, which is negative 55 eighths. Now let's evaluate the expression on the right side of the equation to make sure we get the same value. We have 6 times negative 3 eighths minus 5 minus negative 3 eighths. And we can see we do get the same value. Both sides of the equation are equal to negative 55 eighths after substituting negative 3 eighths for w, which verifies our solution is correct. I hope you found this helpful.